the CEO of Timeless Creations. Over the course of a given year, there are countless birthdays, weddings, graduations, and anniversaries. We were able to reach that large market with a product that can help capture those important memories for a lifetime. The Keepsake Capsule served not only as a beautiful display, but an amazing gift for those hosting major life events. <coughs> Using industry standard laser technology, we were able to engrave customized messages onto the top of the Keepsake Capsule pertaining to any event or special memory. In addition, we provided 24 personalized shapes, such as hearts or graduation caps, that friends and family of the host can write words of advice on or their favorite memories with the host, allowing them to store those words forever. We have networked with a diverse group of clients all this year, and here to talk about our sales is our Chief Operations Officer, Trent. As you can see, looking at the sales figure above, we did $2,332 in revenue this year. Uh, every member of our company set a sales goal, and every member worked hard to reach this goal. Looking at the chart on your left, you can see that January was our best month in sales. This is because we developed the confidence to make sales in that month. But <coughs> chart on your right, you can see our revenue grow throughout the entire year. We employ multi multiple marketing techniques to make these sales. And here to talk about these techniques is Jimmy. This year we have implemented three main marketing techniques. They include events, online marketing, and personal connections. Craft shows and high school sporting events were great because we were able to display our products and in return reach a larger market. Our website, which includes an online store with pictures, and our social media channels were excellent tools used to advertise our product as well. We've also taken advantage of our personal connections by sending informational emails to friends and family members about our product and company, thus expanding our network. And now for the man responsible for developing the product that represents our brand, VP of Production, Luke. Our production department went through a lot of trial and error to find the most efficient way to produce our products. Every aspect of our production process we have done in-house, except for the creation of the box itself, which after speaking to a few different vendors, we found that The box itself is a 5 by 8 by 3 base wood box. And um, after receiving the product information from our customers, we then set it up in a software called Corel Draw for engraving. We then sand out any imperfections and apply two coats of stain or gloss to create the flawless personalized look. A company member then uh, hand delivers the product to our customer. We have created many keepsake capsules, providing us a strong source of revenue. Here to talk about finance and JD Days. When the top 10 reasons new companies fail is the lack of startup capital. Now, there are two ways we decided to overcome this obstacle. One, we had each member of the company invest $10 that shared the stock in us. And two, we had help from angel investors come in. Now, here at Thomas Creations, we are happy to say that within the first three months of operations, we were able to pay back these angel investors with a 15% return on their investment. Now, of the $2,033 in sales, we had $1,041.46 in total profit. And while keeping our prices low, $975.54. Now for a $35 box, it costs $20.53 to make, and our total profit is $14.37. Our total profit percentage is 41%. Now back to Dylan to summarize what we learned. Over the course of this school year, we've learned a lot about running a business, building a brand, and even ourselves. At the beginning of the year, we created a product that we realized wasn't going to become successful. So we had to pivot and overcome the adversity so that way we could be where we are now. In addition, at the beginning of the year, we had no idea how to use an industry standard uh, laser engraver. But we had to sit down and work through the software until we created the most efficient way to develop a quality product for our customers. And finally, we realized that we had to work as a team. We realized that business isn't something that one individual can manage by themselves. We had to utilize our individual talents to work together to create a timeless company.